another agar we'll be using today is cetramide agar. Cetramide agar contains the chemical cetramide and this inhibits most bacteria other than pseudomonas. So we say that cetramide agar is selective for pseudomonas. In addition, the medium stimulates pseudomonas to produce two water-soluble compounds, pyoverdin and pyocyanin. The pyoverdin uh, produces a yellow-green or yellow-brown fluorescent pigment, while the pyocyanin appears as a blue water-soluble compound. And when the two combine, we get the characteristic green water-soluble pigment characteristic of pseudomonas. The plate on the left is an uninoculated plate of cetramide agar. And you will notice if we remove the lid, and I'm doing this so that we don't get the reflection from the ceiling lights on the agar as much, that it's a very clear, transparent looking agar. When we look for pigment, we need a plain agar that has no pigment itself in the agar. Now Pseudomonas again, because it produces pyoverdin and pyocyanin, uh, typically starts out then by producing what's referred to as a green water soluble pigment. And again, if we remove the lid, we can see that the cetramide agar has turned a light green color. Both the colonies and the agar itself have turned green, which is characteristic of a water soluble pigment.